a few weeks ago, I was, um, I was in my office in New York and uh, my secretary, Trudy, called me and said, uh, I have the Pentagon on the phone. So it was a three-star army general. I've never spoken to one of them before. And I didn't actually speak to this one. It, he just told me what... <laughs> told me what I had to do. And so at the end of this very short conversation, about three and a half minutes, of which he had you know, told me to do six things, I understood I had to go not to here, but to report to the Pentagon and talk. He said, I want you to come and talk to the brightest and finest that America has to offer. So I thought it's going to be a really small room, right? So, <laughs> so it's not going to be like this. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, what about? And he said, well, we want you to talk about uh, how do we improve the image of America internationally? <laughs> <laughs> so I sit in front of them and it's all very cold, right? And I go, okay, look, you know, it's very difficult for me because I'm not American. I understand you've got great pride in your great nation, blah, 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 blah. But the topic I've been asked to speak about is how to improve the image of America overseas. Well, don't worry. You don't have an image problem. So now you don't have an image problem. Actually, you have an action problem. You should stop killing people. <laughs> I feel really major step forward. You should stop going to these places and bombing the crap out of them. Stop <laughs> killing them. Didn't go down very well. The rest of the morning went like this. <laughs> the point of this story is that they explained to me that I didn't really understand very much and that we lived in a VUCA world. Oh, what's that? I thought it was something you had on your foot of VUCA. So it's a VUCA world. What's that then? So he said, this is a world that is volatile. It's a world that's uncertain, a world that's complex, and a world that's ambiguous. And they said to me as if this was some kind of bloody revelation. So the way I think of this world is, in fact, we live in a super VUCA world. And this super VUCA world, actually, is the world that is in front of you all, this is a world that is vibrant. It's full of life. It's full of laughter. It's full of good times because there is nothing holding us back now. If you lived here when I was growing up here, we were held back by geography, by lack of resource, by scale, all this kind of stuff. Now we're liberated by technology. We're liberated by learning and we can compete. It is a world that's unreal. The things that we all can do now are unbelievable. Right? All my kids can do anything Saatchi and Saatchi can do. All they need is really an iPad or an iPhone, and they can create anything. They can distribute anything on YouTube. They can connect with everybody all over the world through all their Facebook and their social networks. They can tweet as we're speaking now. People can be tweeting away in real time. It's unreal what we can do, we, we can create. This is a world that's crazy. So hands up here who's crazy. You must be, and you certainly must be. I'd be with him. That's very good. Because progress comes from the unreasonable man and woman, right? We are not going to win from Cumbria by being better managed than the Southerners or the French. Or actually, than the French. That's silly. Of course, we'll be better managed than the French. But that's like a theory of the low base, isn't it? I mean, so we're not going to win through being better managed. Management's just a boring science. We're not going to be low cost ever from here. That's impossible to be, right? So we're not going to win through management or process or quality. We're going to win by having crazy people doing outrageous things, transforming things, and being braver than all the softies ever elsewhere in Europe. And then the final A in the super VUCA world is astounding. So this is a world where we can win from the edge. I know it's been tough over the last two years. And it's going to be tough the next two years, and the two after that, and the two after that, and the two after that. And the two. It's always going to be tough, right? So I'm going to talk today about winning, because winning... Vince Lombardi used to talk about it, the coach of the century in the US. Winning isn't everything. I'm a Manchester City supporter, so I know a lot about that. So winning isn't everything, but wanting to win is. And I think up north, we want to win. We have to want to win because it's tougher up here.